from the Tom pickup? Oh, this is unbelievable. Why would you turn your phone off at a time like this? Excuse me, Detective Hughes? Yeah. If uh, I'm the bailiff at the Stewart trial, if you're looking for your husband, he's probably with Miss Stewart at the hospital. Why? What happened? She went into labor just as the jury was going out to deliberate. Uh, they took her to Memorial. He's a miracle, Tom. Oh. He's our little miracle. You know what? I think our son wants to see his father. You think so? Yeah, come here, baby. Some entrance you made. Very dramatic. Very, just like your mommy. Yeah. You want theatrics, kiddo? Check out your dad in court. Sorry. No, it's it's okay. Everything's this is all gonna work out, all right. We hope. Mama's made some pretty bad mistakes. And I may have to pay for them. No, we're gonna fight that. Maybe God's giving me a second chance. Because since you're here in my life, I feel like it's starting all over. And I promise I'm gonna be a good mommy to you. I think he believes you. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna help you avoid making all of my dumb mistakes. You'll be ahead of the game. But when you do feel like making some of your own, I'm gonna be there for you, little guy. <laughs> I'm never gonna turn my back on you, I promise. Excuse me. I'm real sorry to interrupt, but um, I told him to keep me posted at the station. Guzman just called. Your verdict is in. Wait a minute. They've reached, they've reached a verdict already? Hey, hey, I thought hey, I'd have more hey, time. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. What if, I, what if I'm convicted? I can't leave him. You are not going to have to. No, it's too soon. It's too soon. I need more time. I've waited listen too long to me, for this time. You have to make them give down. me more time. I haven't had time with them. I haven't had a chance I to bathe them or rock them or do I anything with my baby. I want you to listen to me. Now, there's no way that anybody is going to expect you in court tonight. You just had a baby, for God's sake. Now, just try to calm down. I will go take care of this. Okay? Are you okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, for... for tearing you up like that on the stand, I mean, you have to know that. I don't know what I know anymore. I... I had to. Your evidence was, was killing me. I had to do something. You did your job. You were inspired, almost. Margo, I had to. You had to rip me apart, destroy me. And now you want me to forgive you. Go to church. Look. I can't do that, God can't. Look, you are a pro, and you know what I was doing right, up there. Right, you want me to, me to forgive you. I'll forgive you, fine. I forgive you for, for dragging our lives to the court like that in case there's one person in this town who's forgotten. I forgive you for using the death of our marriage to defend your client and murder charges. I forgive you for painting me as a liar. I had to defend my client. Yeah. And you had to paint me as a jealous woman who would commit perjury. You had to do that. You had to do that in front of our son. I would have done anything to spare you and to spare him. It's just you did your job. Feel good about it. I don't. I will regret it every day for the rest of my life. How is Adam? Adam is angrier than I've ever seen him before. Okay, then, then I will talk to him. I'll, I'll explain. No. 
I don't think you could even explain this. No, I think he needs to know that I am still here for him. See, that's another thing I don't know about. His whole family has been ripped apart by this. I know, yeah. I think about that a lot, Tom. And I think about how these kids don't have a family anymore, about how our boys have to grow up too soon. And, and I think, man, everything was so bad before this trial, and now... There's something just ripped out of Adam. I don't think I can fix it. Then can I try? Can I just try to come over there after I talk to the no, DA? No, Please. leave him alone. He's too Please. raw. And besides... Besides what? You've got to stay here with Emily. I'll go to the DA for you. Thank you. Congratulations on the birth of your son, Tom. I didn't know you'd still be awake. Did Casey get off to Jared's? Yeah, the Kendall's picked him up. Oh, good. Well, I I'm glad you're still up because um, Where were I you wanted night? to talk to you. Um, I was at the hospital because Emily had her baby. I'm gonna have some ice cream. You want some? So you and Casey have a new little brother. Not me. Well, I know not technically you don't know. I don't want to hear you calling her kid my little brother. But Adam, he is. I don't want to talk about Emily, her baby, or, or your dad. I know. They don't exist. None of them. Hey, Betty, it's Margot Hughes. Can I talk to Case? Oh, that's right. I forgot they have morning practice now. Um, all right. Listen, I want to thank you so much for letting him stay last night. I'm sure he had a good time there. Yeah, yeah. I I'll pick them up this afternoon, okay? Thanks. Bye. Oh, you're up already. I got you some of that new cereal you like with the raisins. Oh, cool. I'll, I'll get them myself. Don't worry about it. I can't mess up cereal. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, don't worry. Oh, and, um, uh, about last night, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have lost it like that, you know? It's okay. I, I, don't, I don't mean to make things harder for you, but I just can't change the way I feel. You know what? Your feelings will change eventually. In time, they will. Mine won't. Come on. He's your dad. It's Not anymore. Always gonna be your dad. Where's the milk? <sighs> Adam, he loves you, and I love you, and you always gotta keep Aren't that in mind. Aren't you gonna be late for work? Um, actually, I have to get to the courthouse, and I, I, I have to get dressed, and yeah. Mom, uh, are, are you okay? No. But it will be.